The gambler's fallacy, also known as the Monte Carlo fallacy, is a cognitive bias that leads individuals to believe that future outcomes in a random event are influenced by past outcomes, even when the events are statistically independent. This fallacy can have profound implications for decision-making, particularly in contexts such as gambling, investing, and everyday situations where randomness and probability play a role. In this essay, we will delve into the gambler's fallacy, its underlying psychology, real-world examples, and its implications in decision-making. To grasp the essence of the gambler's fallacy, it is crucial to understand the concepts of probability and randomness. Probability refers to the likelihood of an event occurring and is often expressed as a number between zero and one, where zero indicates impossibility and one represents certainty. Randomness, on the other hand, describes the absence of a discernible pattern or predictability in a sequence of events. The gambler's fallacy arises from a fundamental human tendency to seek patterns and impose order on the chaotic world around us. It is rooted in our natural inclination for pattern recognition, which can sometimes lead to erroneous conclusions when applied to random sequences of events. Individuals often perceive patterns or trends in random events, even when none exist. One classic example that illustrates the gambler's fallacy is the act of flipping a fair coin. When a coin is flipped, the outcome is either heads or tails, with each outcome having an equal chance of occurring. Suppose we flip a coin 10 times, and the first nine flips result in heads. Many people succumb to the gambler's fallacy by mistakenly believing that the 10th flip is more likely to be tails, since it would balance out the previous streak of heads. However, each coin flip remains an independent event, and the probability of heads or tails remains the same, that is 0.5 regardless of the previous outcomes. The past outcomes have no influence on the future outcomes in this case. In the context of gambling, the gambler's fallacy can have significant implications. For instance, let's consider a game of roulette, where a ball is spun on a wheel divided into numbered slots. Each spin of the wheel is an independent event, and the odds of the ball landing on any particular number remain constant throughout the game. However, Players often fall prey to the gambler's fallacy by assuming that if a particular number hasn't come up in a while, it is due to hit soon. This misguided belief can lead individuals to place irrational bets, hoping to capitalize on an imagined pattern. They falsely believe that the wheel has a memory of past outcomes and will eventually correct itself, which is not the case in reality. Lotteries provide another illustrative example of the gambler's fallacy. In most lottery games, a set of numbers is randomly drawn, and players must match the drawn numbers to win. Despite the randomness involved, people often exhibit the gambler's fallacy by selecting numbers they perceive as due, or avoiding numbers that have recently been drawn. This fallacy arises from a misunderstanding of probability and the belief that past outcomes influence future ones. In reality, each lottery drawing is independent of the previous ones, and the likelihood of any specific number being drawn remains constant. The gambler's fallacy also impacts decision-making in financial markets. Investors may fall victim to this fallacy when they believe that the recent performance of a stock or market trend will inevitably reverse. This can lead to irrational buying or selling decisions based on the belief that the odds are more likely to favor a change in direction. In reality, Stock market trends are influenced by various factors, such as company performance, economic conditions, and investor sentiment, rather than a simple correction to past outcomes. Two cognitive biases contribute to the persistence of the gambler's fallacy, probability neglect and the representativeness heuristic. Probability neglect refers to the tendency to disregard the actual probabilities when making judgments about uncertain events. In the case of the gambler's fallacy, individuals neglect the fact that each event in a random sequence is independent and unaffected by past outcomes. The representativeness heuristic involves making judgments based on perceived resemblances between the present situation and past experiences. When individuals see a series of outcomes that appear to follow a pattern, they tend to assume that the pattern will continue, even when the events are random. Overcoming the gambler's fallacy requires understanding the fundamental principles of probability and randomness. It is crucial to recognize that each event in a random sequence is independent and unaffected by past outcomes. Education and awareness of cognitive biases can also help individuals make more rational decisions and avoid falling into the trap of the gambler's fallacy. 
By recognizing the illusion of patterns and probability, we can make better informed choices based on actual probabilities and improve our overall decision-making abilities. In conclusion, the gambler's fallacy is a cognitive bias that leads individuals to mistakenly believe that future outcomes in a random event are influenced by past outcomes. This fallacy can have significant implications in various domains, including gambling, investing, and decision-making in general. Understanding the concepts of probability, randomness, and cognitive biases is essential to overcome this fallacy. By recognizing the limitations of pattern recognition and the independence of random events, we can make more rational and informed choices in both our personal and professional lives.